For centuries, volcanoes have stood as silent monuments to Earth's raw power. Their slopes etched with the memory of ancient destruction. They appear still, timeless and unchanging. But beneath their surfaces, the planet is stirring. As 2026 begins, a quiet alarm is rippling through the scientific community. Several of the world's most dangerous volcanoes are showing signs of awakening, and their behavior is becoming too familiar to ignore. The ground is rising, gas is leaking through new fractures. Tremors rattle old magma pathways. These are the subtle movements of a planet preparing to release its pressure, and they echo the early stages of eruptions that once reshaped entire civilizations. With modern monitoring tools, we can now see these warnings with unprecedented clarity. Yet our greater understanding has only deepened the urgency. Which volcano will erupt next? And what will happen if multiple systems reach their breaking point within the same year? Today, let's explore the most dangerous volcanoes likely to erupt in 2026, each with its own danger and its own countdown quietly ticking beneath the Earth. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Far beneath the Pacific Ocean, roughly 480 kilometers off the coast of Oregon, lies one of the most extraordinary volcanoes on Earth. Axial Seamount is not dangerous in the way others are. It sits deep under the ocean, far from human populations, but it is the most predictably eruptive volcano ever recorded. Its magma chamber inflates and deflates like a slow heartbeat, and its cycles are so consistent that scientists have successfully forecast its eruptions years in advance. Eruptions in 1998, 2011, and 2015 revealed a striking pattern. Each event was preceded by steady uplift of the seafloor, signaling magma accumulation beneath the volcanic edifice. After each eruption, the ground abruptly subsided, marking the release of pressure. Since 2015, Axial has once again been inflating, and current measurements show that the seamount is now exceeding the deformation thresholds that preceded its last eruption. Axial's eruptions reshape hydrothermal ecosystems and release massive amounts of chemicals into the deep ocean, subtly altering marine environments. But more importantly, Axial Seamount serves as a rare natural laboratory, demonstrating that some volcanic eruptions can be forecast with remarkable accuracy. Based on deformation rates and seismic patterns, many researchers expect its next eruption to occur sometime in mid to late 2026, marking the next step in its remarkable eruption cycle. Majestic and deceptively calm from a distance, Mount Etna towers over Sicily as one of the most active volcanoes on the planet. Etna is a volcano that rarely sleeps. Its eruptions are woven into the rhythm of Sicilian life. Lava fountains lighting the night sky, ash drifting over Catania, and tremors rolling beneath ancient towns. But beneath this familiar activity lies a deeper truth. Etna is entering another pressurized phase, and the signs point toward fresh eruptive activity in 2026. Etna's geology makes it uniquely persistent. A deep open conduit allows magma to rise easily, and its summit craters constantly release gas. Even during quiet periods, the volcano inflates, deflates, and rebuilds its internal pathways. History shows how dangerous this system can be, most notably in 1669, when a flank eruption destroyed villages and reached the walls of Catania. Recent years have brought increasingly powerful paroxysms, with lava fountains shooting hundreds of meters high. Seismic tremor patterns mirror past pre-eruptive cycles. Magma is accumulating beneath the southeast crater, and satellite data shows thermal anomalies consistent with rising pressure. These are classic signs of a volcano gathering strength. An Etna eruption in 2026 would be consistent with its eruptive cycle. The danger comes not from predictable summit outbursts, but from the possibility of a new fissure opening along its flanks. Such an event could send lava toward populated areas, disrupt infrastructure, and force the closure of Catania's international airport. North of Anchorage, Alaska, rises a stratovolcano with a violent history and a concerning present. 
Mount Spur has erupted multiple times over the last century, but two events stand out, 1953 and 1992, both of which sent massive ash clouds sweeping over Alaska's largest city, darkening skies, disrupting infrastructure, and grounding aircraft. Today, signs suggest Spur may be preparing to repeat that history. In recent years, volcanic unrest beneath Mount Spur has escalated markedly. Seismicity has increased, with earthquake clusters migrating upward toward the surface. Gas emissions, particularly sulfur dioxide, have risen to levels that suggest magma is degassing at shallow depth. Satellite-based deformation measurements reveal uplift consistent with magma intrusion beneath the volcano's summit. These are not subtle hints. They are classic pre-eruption signatures. Scientists at the Alaska Volcano Observatory report that Spur's magma chamber appears to be recharging and pressurizing. This is the stage at which an eruption can occur with little additional warning. The resulting ash plume could once again threaten Anchorage and disrupt Trans-Pacific aviation routes essential to global commerce. Unlike Etna's often predictable outbursts, Spur is notorious for sudden, ash-rich eruptions with short lead times, making it one of the most imminent threats in North America. If current unrest continues, Mount Spur could be one of the first volcanoes to erupt in 2026. High above the fertile plains of Negros Island in the Philippines, rises a breathtaking yet unpredictable giant, Mount Canlaon, one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the region. Unlike Etna, which announces its eruptions loudly through tremors and magma surges, Canlone is known for its ability to erupt with almost no warning. Its phreatic explosions, steam-driven eruptions caused by superheated groundwater, can occur suddenly and violently, projecting ash and rock with devastating force. Canlone's eruptive history is marked by deadly blasts, and recent activity suggests the volcano is entering a new phase of instability. Over the past two years, gas emissions have surged, ash plume events have become more frequent, and seismicity beneath the summit crater has intensified. The 2024 to 2025 eruptive episodes revealed rising magma interacting with groundwater, a combination that often precedes larger explosive events. The danger posed by Canlon is amplified by the dense population surrounding the volcano. Cities, towns, and farmland lie within reach of ashfall and lahar pathways and even moderate eruptions can disrupt aviation, damage agriculture, and force evacuations. What makes Canlone particularly frightening is its unpredictability. Phreatic eruptions leave little time for warning or evacuation, and their explosive power is often underestimated until it is too late. If current conditions persist, Canlone is likely to erupt again in the first half of 2026. While not globally catastrophic, it remains a deadly regional threat. Mount Fuji is more than a symbol of Japan. It is one of the world's most iconic volcanoes, towering serenely over the landscape with a beauty that masks its immense power. Its last major event, the 1707 Hoei eruption, blanketed Edo, now Tokyo with ash and devastated surrounding farmland. More than three centuries later, signs beneath Fuji suggest the volcano may be edging toward renewed activity. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake altered regional stress fields, increasing pressure along Fuji's magma pathways. Since then, seismic swarms and deep tremors, often linked to rising magma, have become more frequent. In response, Japanese authorities have intensified preparedness efforts with updated hazard maps, new evacuation protocols, and unusually direct public warnings. Most recently, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government released a striking AI-generated simulation on Volcanic Disaster Preparedness Day, illustrating how a sudden Fuji eruption could blanket the capital in ash within hours. An eruption of Fuji today would be catastrophic. Even a moderate eruption today could shut down transportation networks, cripple power systems, halt airport operations, disable water treatment facilities, and cause massive economic disruption. 
a larger eruption could send pyroclastic flows or heavy asphalt across the Kanto region. While an eruption cannot be predicted with certainty, the escalating seismic unrest and growing government concern suggests that Mount Fuji is closer to erupting in 2026 than it has been in centuries. West of Naples, Italy, lies a volcanic system unlike any other, Compi Flagre, a sprawling caldera capable of eruptions far more destructive than those of typical stratovolcanoes. While Mount Vesuvius often receives attention as a threat to Naples, Compi Flagre is vastly more dangerous. It is not a single cone, but a vast volcanic field with dozens of vents, many of them beneath densely populated districts. Compi Flagre has been showing increasing signs of distress for more than a decade. The ground in Pozzuoli has risen more than a meter since the early 2000s, an uplift pattern that has historically preceded eruptive episodes. In 2025, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest in over 40 years, rattled the caldera, indicating growing instability. Gas emissions have surged, seismic swarms have intensified, and multiple studies now conclude that the crust beneath the caldera has weakened significantly. As internal pressure builds, the brittle crust may fracture suddenly, allowing magma or superheated fluids to escape explosively. Even a small eruption could release ash, toxic gases, and pyroclastic material across heavily populated areas. A larger event could devastate Naples and nearby towns, triggering mass evacuations that would be extremely difficult to perform quickly. Compi Flagre does not need a super eruption to cause catastrophe. Its danger stems from its fragility, unpredictability, and the sheer number of people living directly above it. Of all the volcanoes currently showing unrest, it remains the one scientists fear most. From the Pacific seafloor to the streets of Naples, Earth's volcanoes are entering a period of heightened unrest. The six systems highlighted here range from the predictable cycles of axial seamount to the caldera-wide instability of Compi Flegre, all showing rising seismic activity, magma pressurization, and increasing geological stress. Even a single eruption in 2026 could disrupt communities, infrastructure, and global aviation. Several erupting in close succession could ripple through economies, climate systems, and food supplies. As 2026 begins, these volcanoes demand vigilance and preparation. For deep within their cores, pressure continues to build, and pressure always finds a way out.